say good morning. Hi. We are going to make some homemade slime. I thought it would be something fun for Carly to do. And she's really weird about sensory stuff sometimes. So I'm kind of hoping that she'll have fun with it and actually want to play with the slime instead of leave it alone. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep good, Carly? Did you sleep good? You want juice and breakfast? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Carly used to sleep with Kinley in the same room until Carly got the bright idea to climb into Kinley's bed and stop all over her. So. <laughs> She wasn't going to stop, so she had to move into our room because I didn't want poor Kenley to get hurt. So, she has her own room right now. Uh, you do. Suddenly a very happy girl when she has her milk. Yum. Yum. Are you happy now that you have some milk too? Yum, yum. Abba. <laughs> Breakfast for the girls is looking like eggs and toast and some watermelon. I'm going to have some yogurt and an apple and an English muffin and probably eggs too. But Kenley's already eating hers. She already ate her watermelon. Yum. Because it's good. It's yummy. Carly loves to sit right next to me when she eats breakfast or really any meal. Huh. She loves to sit right next to her mommy. Mommy, Aki? Mo yes, mommy's hungry. I'm going to eat in about two apple? seconds. And mommy, apple. Apple, yes. Practicing standing. She's still pretty unsteady on her feet. They're going to turn purple here in a second. They're already starting to turn purple. Uh, that's getting checked out by her pediatrician because... I don't know why her feet turn purple like that. Well, her legs turn purple, too. I just, I don't get it. That worries me. Your feet and legs shouldn't be going purple at a year old. <laughs> I'm very proud of Carly. Uh, she just turned two, like, two and a half months ago. And she's been doing so good in being in panties. For a while there she was having issues going potty in the panties. But not anymore. Are you doing good in panties? You're such a big girl. So smart. So I'm gonna go make some slime now while the girls eat some lunch. Okay so I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to make the slime. I can't take credit for this recipe. Devin actually bought me this book like, I don't know, three months ago, I think. And I really love this book. And there's a recipe in here for this slime that I really want to try. So this is the book and this is the recipe. The recipe calls for borax. I am leaving out the borax because that's toxic. I am making a non-toxic version of this. Kinley especially still puts things in her mouth and Carly every now and then will also. So. I'm making this non-toxic. So the recipe calls for a small bowl. I'm using my saucepan because it's just easy. Uh, if you want to do the borax, it's a half teaspoon of borax, a fourth of a cup of cornstarch and warm water, two to three ounces of non-toxic glue, which is about half of one of these. Food coloring of your choice. You could do blue, green, whatever. I'm doing yellow. A freezer bag to store it in, which I'm not really gonna store this. I, well, maybe I will, I don't know. A spoon for mixing. And it says a variety of printed papers or writing mediums. So you can like stick things to it and see which ones stick better, but I'm not doing that. This is just something for Carly to play with because Kenley decided that she wanted to take a nap in the middle of lunch. So I guess Carly's just gonna play with this. This is what it looks like when everything is combined. I've put in my uh, glue and my cornstarch and my water and my food coloring. It's a nice happy yellow. <laughs> the recipe says to let it sit for about 30 minutes so the cornstarch can absorb all of the moisture and then you just roll it out until it's in a putty like consistency. So 30 minutes it is and then we will come back and try to play with our putty or slime. 
So this is our very disappointing slime. Uh, the recipe is a joke because a fourth of a cup of cornstarch was not enough. I thought this was going to be some kind of like solid, I don't know, Play-Doh sort of like consistency and it's not. It's like, it's very wet. Like I just don't see Carly playing with it outside of a plastic bag. So I put it in a baggie after spending like an hour on this thing because I left it, I let it sit for 30 minutes and then I came back and it was like soup. So I was like, ah, this isn't right. So I dumped a crap ton of cornstarch. It must be like at least, if not two cups, at least a cup. But I want to say two cups. I dumped so much more cornstarch. And look, it's still like really wet. So I just stuck it in a plastic baggie. And I'm hoping Carly will at least, you know, play with the baggie and fiddle with it. But I'm just really disappointed. I really thought this would be some kind of like really fun consistency and it's like soup so we'll probably won't be doing this again but let's see if she plays with it you want to touch it you want to touch the slime do you want to touch the slime what is that <laughs> you don't know I'm glad you like it. I thought you wouldn't. Elbow? Elbow? Elbow. And walking away. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching our disappointing slime fail. <laughs> at least Carly is enjoying it, even though it's not the slime that I thought it would be. I will see you guys at the next vlog. Bye!